What this report shows is that we've been able to recover a little bit from years and years of a retreat into regressivity, and we've actually been able to make the tax code a little bit fairer uh, and a little bit less regressive for Minnesotans and return some money into the pockets of the people who are least able to pay taxes. From a homeowner's perspective, the expansion of the homeowner's property tax refund was the single most important property tax reform of the last 30 years. This chart illustrates the income sensitive nature of the expanded homestead credit refund. This refund is a big improvement over its predecessor, the homestead market value credit, because it's targeted to taxpayers who need relief the most, and it's highly efficient at reducing the regressivity of Minnesota's state and local tax system. Now by typical homeowner, I mean a homeowner with a median income for that community, living in a median value home with one dependent. Property taxes for this typical homeowner will decline by 22% in St. Paul and Bloomington, by 19% in Minneapolis, 11% in Plymouth, 18% in Brooklyn Park and Roseville, 20% in Maplewood, 9% in Woodbury, and 19% in Burnsville. Governor Dayton came in saying he wanted to make our tax code more fair and more progressive. This is showing it's succeeding. It's making a difference. We're not all average, we don't all have average incomes and average households, but what it does show is we're trying to move forward in making our tax code more fair.